Hello, this is Hunter Anderson, back with another tutorial video for Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so, I've run into an issue lately where sometimes I'll have a video clip, much like this one, with video and audio. You can't hear it very well, but it'll, let's see. Alright, so I have a little bit of audio of me typing while I'm texting. But, sometimes, whenever you're trying to drag the video that you have, from the preview monitor into your sequence, you only bring the video and you don't bring the audio, and there doesn't really seem to be an explanation for it. This is a short video on how to fix that. So, here you are, you're in a brand new project, you've imported this file, and if you're like me, I don't know enough about sequences to really choose the right one if I was to go in here and make a new one and go to sequence settings. So, I just right click on the clip, and I go to New Sequence from Clip. There we go. So there's the clip from uh, over here in the preview monitor. And it's got the video, it's got the audio, looks just fine. Let's say you have another video clip that you naturally want to put on after this one. So we're going to use the same clip just for demonstration purposes. You click and you drag it over. And what do you know? It only brings the video clip with it. That's kind of strange. So then you try to drag the audio with it, and it won't let you. It won't let you let you drop it in there. So here's what's going on with that. Over here on the left-hand side, you have what's called source patching, as you can see, for inserts and overwrites. And what that means is basically that's determining when you drag a video in, do you want to bring in the video and the audio together, like you did here? Do you just want to bring in the video, just like dragging from here? Do you just want to bring in the audio, like dragging from there? And where, which layer do you want the video and the audio to go in? You can put the video on any of the video layers. You can put the audio on any of the audio layers. For some reason, sometimes in Premiere, it leaves the video layer on, but the audio layer off. So, real easy way to fix this issue. You turn on source patching in whichever uh, audio channel you want, you have to click on this one, not this one over here. This is different. Uh, over here in the source patch, you have to turn that on. And then I'm going to go on and delete my clip. Now I can drag and drop. There. Now you have your video and your audio, and it's just like this clip before. Works just fine. So uh, there's another video that I saw on this. Uh, that talks more about source patching, talks more about uh, tra track targeting, which is this, talks about locking tracks, uh, sync lock, all this stuff that I can't really explain very well, but this tutorial video, which you should see the link coming up now, um, explains it very well and um, just provides a little more insight into how useful all this stuff is. So this is just to help you if you're wondering why you can't get video and audio when you clearly have it in the preview monitor, why you can't get it in your sequence. That's all for this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe if you like these videos. I just post them from time to time. Whatever I can't find online, uh, I try to make a video uh, to help explain it. Uh, so that's all for now. Thank you very much.